While nuclear power seems for many to be a fairly modern innovation, research on nuclear marine propulsion started way back in the 1940s. In fact, the first nuclear-powered submarine took its maiden voyage in 1955. Since then, the tech, range, power, and capabilities of these nuclear vessels have improved exponentially. So what is the latest in the world of nuclear-powered marine vessels and what can we predict on the horizon? In this episode, we are going to learn all about the latest generation of nuclear-powered ships and take a guess on what leaps we'll make in the future. So let's get into it. The Nuclear Age In 1951, the U.S. began construction on the world's first ever nuclear-propelled naval craft. The USS Nautilus was fitted with a submarine thermal reactor, STR, later renamed the S2W reactor and on the morning of 17th January 1955, the Nautilus set sail. Upon their departure, Commander Eugene P. Wilkinson famously signaled the memorable and historic message, underway on nuclear power. Onboard nuclear reactors immediately solved a massive number of challenges that naval operations faced. It provided an almost endless supply of power when compared to diesel combustion, allowing naval craft to spend longer on missions before needing to refuel. In the case of submarines, it meant nuclear subs could travel further distances and be submerged for longer periods of time. Submarines also enjoyed another added benefit from nuclear propulsion, a zero emission process that consumes no air. Despite nuclear's bad publicity, it is a surprisingly safe power source as well. The U.S. Navy has accumulated over 6,200 reactor years of accident-free experience involving 526 nuclear reactor cores over the course of 240 million kilometers, without a single radiological incident. Likewise, other world navies have had similarly impressive and safe histories of using nuclear-powered vessels in times of both war and peace. The science of nuclear propulsion has come a long way since the 1950s, and each class of craft are better equipped and feature new innovations that extend their lives for decades. Let's take a look at some of the latest nuclear vessels being commissioned around the world. USS Delaware, Virginia-class submarine The USS South Dakota is the newest and most advanced addition to the US Navy's Virginia-class fleet of nuclear-powered, fast-attack submarines. It was in development for four years, finally being commissioned on the 4th of April 2020. It's the Navy's 18th Virginia-class submarine, part of an ambitious plan to have 66 Virginia-class subs by 2048. The USS Delaware is 377 feet long with a 34-foot beam, displacing 7,800 tons in weight. Inside, the sub is powered by an S9G nuclear reactor that will provide all the fuel the boat will need during its projected service life of 33 years. It's able to dive to depths greater than 800 feet and operate at speeds in excess of 25 knots underwater. It's considered the stealthiest Virginia-class submarine yet, the latest in the Navy's acoustic superiority program. Like other Virginia-class submarines, the USS Delaware is equipped with four MK-48 launch tubes, MK-60 captor mines, advanced mobile mines, and UUVs. Additionally, the Delaware also has two 87-inch Virginia payload tubes capable of firing up to 12 Tomahawk cruise missiles. Varanes and Vladivostok Yasin M-Class Submarine Russia have continued the development of the Yasin M-Class nuclear-powered submarines by laying down the keels of the Voronezh and the Vladivostok, the 8th and 9th submarines of that class, respectively. Building a submarine of this size isn't quick, and the two sister subs aren't expected to be completed until 2027. The Yasin M-Class are adept at fighting and maneuvering in icy Arctic waters and have developed a whole range of innovative and necessary tools to help them operate better. They will most likely serve in the Northern Fleet and Pacific Fleet, respectively. Both vessels will be equipped with Caliber M cruise missiles, as well as the Sircon hypersonic missile. It is the first Russian submarine class to be equipped with a spherical sonar, whose size means the torpedo tubes are slanted when compared to the previous Akula-class subs. But that's not the only difference between the Yasin M and previous submarine classes. While the Akula and previous classes has a double hull, the majority of Yasin M-class submarines have a single-layer hull constructed from low magnetic steel. The Yasin M-class has a crew of between 64 and 85, a huge reduction from the U.S. Virginia class which has a standing crew of 134. This suggests 
as the Russian Navy boasts, they have done exceptionally well at automating a lot of their key functions. This specific class of submarines are also the first to be equipped with a fourth generation nuclear reactor. With a core life of around 25 to 30 years, this stealthy attack submarine will never require refueling before its decommission. New generation KTP-6 reactors significantly reduce the submarine's noise level, incorporating the normal frigid water circulation into its cooling systems. Cooling and water circulation are key noise factors on a nuclear submarine, and this new reactor solves two birds with one stone. The only other submarine classes in service with such reactor design are the Ohio and Virginia class submarines fitted with S8G and S9G reactors. While the Yes and M class is far quieter than previous Russian SSNs, capable of 20 knots while running quiet, it's still outpaced by its American cousin, the Virginia class at 25 knots. Type 094A Jin class nuclear submarine. While the Chinese haven't been developing nuclear-powered naval vessels for long, they have quickly caught up to the other world superpowers. Information is scarce, as the Chinese Navy isn't known for their openness towards military strategy. But we do know they have developed a second-generation SSBN or nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. It's known as the Type 094 or Jin class and it's been developed to perform strategic patrols with the ability to strike intercontinental targets. According to open-source naval military reports, the Type 094 nuclear-powered submarine is approximately 450 feet long. It is equipped with 12 missile tubes, each capable of firing the JL-2 SLBM submarine-launched ballistic missile, which carries between 1 to 3 nuclear warheads to an estimated range of 7,200 kilometers. The JL-2 is a Chinese second-generation intercontinental range submarine-launched ballistic missile deployed on the People's Liberation Army Navy's Type 094 submarines. According to the U.S. Department of Defense's 2019 annual report on Chinese military capabilities, China has built six Type 094, or Jin-class, nuclear ballistic missile submarines with four operational and two undergoing final outfooting at Huludao Shipyard. The Type 094A is a new variant that we know even less about. From pictures taken, it appears to have a larger, modified sail that is thought to carry up to 16 launch tubes. The secretive 094A also features a retractable towed array sonar mounted on the top of its upper tail fin, which would make it easier for the craft to listen for threats and avoid them. While it's pure speculation, the Type 094A version could also be equipped with new experimental ballistic missiles named Julang 2A, which has a greater theoretical range than the JL-2. This new missile could potentially strike anywhere on the United States mainland from the Yulin Naval Base in Hainan Island. S-5 Arihant Class Submarine Another nuclear sub in development, the way in which the world found out about the secret S-5 was quite hilarious. During a guided tour of the Indian Naval Science and Technology Laboratory, Indian Vice President Venkaya Naidu accidentally revealed many of the details of the top secret project. Here's what we do know. The S-5 class submarine is the successor to the INS Aradhaman, an enlarged version of the INS Arihant, weighing in at about 13,500 tons. At a cost of approximately US $1.2 billion, it's the most expensive defense project to date and construction isn't expected to be completed until 2030. It will come equipped with 12 to 16 K6 MIRV submarine launched ballistic missiles that have 3 to 6 warheads that can be navigated independently over a range of 8,000 kilometers. Leaked images from Twitter show the hump behind the sail where they are to be stored. Also on board are 2 to 3 tons of explosive payload submarine launched ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and torpedoes. Bob Ha Atomic Research Center will be building the nuclear power plants for the S-5 subs, most likely an upgraded version of the 83 megawatt pressurized water nuclear reactor used in the Arihant. They're hoping for an output of 190 megawatts, so a twin reactor configuration isn't out of the question. The submarine will most likely be propelled by duct pump jet propulsion, which emits less noise and is thus more difficult to detect via sonar. On the same token, an innovative new material is apparently being developed for the hull by specialized metal alloy manufacturer Mishra Datsu Nigam, 
and its unique properties is reportedly able to both withstand tremendous amounts of pressure and hide from sonar. The S-5 is reported to be similar to the American Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, able to travel at around 25 knots submerged and 15 knots when surfaced. It can submerge at 2 nautical miles from land and can achieve diving depth after sailing another 80 nautical miles. The Indian Navy hopes to build four S-5s to ensure a presence in both the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean, especially amidst rising tensions in Asia. An underground pen will house the subs when not in operation, forming a brand new base called the INS Varsha, located at Rambili, 50 kilometers south of Vishakhapatnam. The INS Varsha will be home to all nuclear submarines, ballistic and attack, and nuclear-powered ships, with Phase 1 construction due to be completed in 2021. Project 545 Laika – Husky Class Russia has been busy when it comes to nuclear-powered vessels, and thanks to their tendency to boast about feats of engineering, we know a little about the secretive Project 545 Laika, codenamed Husky Class. The new generation nuclear sub will be smaller than the current Yasin M class SSGN of Project 885M, increasing the maneuverability and stealth of the already deadly attack subs. Reports describe the Husky as being developed in two distinct variants an anti submarine model and a ballistic sub armed with Circon hypersonic missiles to destroy large surface craft such as warships, aircraft carriers, cruisers, and destroyers. Constructed out of composite hull, Husky submarines will be less noisy than fourth-generation U-boats. The same composites will be used to make the bow and stern rudders, stabilizers, mast housing, propellers, and shaft lines. Similar to the S-5, this material is designed to confuse sonar detection systems. The Husky will have a single integrated combat information system with artificial intellect. Some reports said the fifth-generation submarines will have a completely new reactor instead of the typically water-cooled and moderated reactor, VVER. However, evidence suggests that the engine will likely be an upgrade of the liquid metal reactor installed in Lyra-class SSN of Project 705. In testing, submarines with a liquid metal plant exceeded second-generation VVER submarines by 200% in maneuverability and up to 250% in power-weight ratio. However, liquid metal plant reactors require the steam unit to be perpetually in a hot state, requiring additional power consumption. Another downside to the new generation reactors, special operations need to be undertaken to prevent alloy oxidation and to keep the physical chemical stability of the liquid crystal heat exchange. But these are all speculative problems based on theoretical specs. Many believe the Husky will instead be designed around a single shaft, single reactor unit with a steam turbine and increased steam parameters. Could Russian be developing a secret reactor that puts their range, speed, and service life well out of the range of current capabilities? Only time will tell. And that's all the time we have for today's video. We hope you enjoyed taking a look at the latest in nuclear-powered marine vessels. Please give this video a like if you learned something new, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another amazing video from Insane Reality. See you next time!